Imagine if you can, no warmth or sand, just the sea, cold, tempestuous, unceasing turmoil, but unassailable beauty. This is the Arctic Ocean, an ocean of ice. Now continue in your mind. Picture an animal, it doesn't matter which. A seal, a polar bear, a walrus, each stakes their claim in this aquatic world. Each relies on it just as the ocean relies on them. For without the fish and the other dwellers of the sea, the salt water might as well disappear. The sea must be filled for the sea to be fulfilled. Above the thrashing waters, the sun glows down seemingly innocent against the relentless cold, but the warmth is insistent and eventually it will triumph, even over the ice that fills the sea. The ice, such a simple thing, just frozen ocean water often decorated with snow, but it is relied upon by so many. There are people, people whose culture has the uttermost respect for the sea and who take the ocean's gifts with pride, these people rely on the ice, traveling across it to receive what the ocean offers. Without this ice, their lives are altered. But people are just the beginning. For so many creatures, this ice is their home. For the polar bears whose claw marks decorate the snow. For the caribou who trek across it. Even the seals. Though they swim through the cool waters for a seemingly endless amount of time, must eventually rest. What will they do when the ice collapses beneath them? What will they do when their home is gone? Not only is this ice a home, it is a shield, the ocean shield against global warming. With the ice, the daggers of the sun are reflected back in space back from whence they came. But without it, the sun is free to pass, the ocean forced to welcome the yellow rays with open arms. And so the sea warms, and it warms. When the shield is cracked, it is not only heat that is of concern. Methane, which has been imprisoned by the ice, escapes into the air. With the last barrier gone, weakened by the heat, nothing can stop it. And for those of you who have never been to the Arctic, who have never gazed at the frozen ocean in wonder, you are not untouched. You may not know, but sea ice is a master of the ocean's currents, and these currents will change as the ice wanes and the world grows warmer. So you see, the ice must be protected. We must shield it so it may shield in return for the animals, for the natives, for the ocean, and for you. And the only way to do any of this, to stop the seemingly inevitable melting that is slowly occurring, is to fight. A battle that will be hard and will require sacrifices. A battle to stop global warming.